Morning, Freddy. Auntie Sheila. Didn't see much of you yesterday. Uh, no. You were obviously keeping yourself busy. Yeah, kind of. Did Johnny come over? No, he had stuff to do. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. How about today? I think he's helping with the potato harvest, so mm. probably not. Ah, oh, right. Have you got anything planned? No, not really. Your mum's coming over later, isn't she? Yes. I'm I'm going to go back upstairs now, if that's OK. Mm. But you haven't eaten anything. I don't feel hungry. Oh, you should have something, No, it's though. too early, anyway. Are you sure? I'll grab something later. Is everything OK, Freddy? I just want to lie in, that's all. No, I, I meant how you're feeling. You know, after Friday. Honestly, I'm... I'm feeling all right. Good. Well, hopefully it helped, getting all those things off your chest to Alistair. Yeah, I suppose. It was just in the moment, really. You're sure that's all? Yeah, I'm sure. Freddie, you do know we're both more than happy to listen, if you ever want to talk. Thanks. But there's really no need at the moment. It's all part of facing up to things, really. It's always better to talk through your issues. Trust me, I wish I'd done that. Yeah, I suppose so. But do you mind if we don't? Not right now. No, of course. I don't want people making a fuss. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to... What happened with Uncle Alistair on Friday? It was just a bad moment, that's all. (laughs) We can all have those. You won't say anything to Mum, though, will you? About what? About me having a bit of a... Unless you've already told her. No, I haven't. Good. But don't you think it'd be better if she did know? Please don't. Why not? She's got enough on her plate already without worrying about me getting a bit upset. Because that's all it was. I still think it'd be better to tell her. No, believe me. It really is easier if she doesn't know. Please? OK. If you're sure. I am. I didn't tell you, did I, Harrison? What? I bumped into David yesterday. Mm Mm-hmm. What? Well, I don't know. It's just something that he said about Freddie's sentencing. Oh, yeah. And about Jill being upset. It was the way he said it. Like, he thinks it's our fault somehow. Well, I don't suppose he does, really. Well, Kenton does. And he's David's brother. Ah, but those two don't exactly see eye to eye at most things, though. Yeah, but it's different when it's family. We haven't had a look at these wedding albums in the daylight, yeah, have we, love? That's true. <laughs> Couldn't believe it when Jasper turned up with them last night. Well, with the weight, though. Hmm, definitely. He's done a fantastic job. And the colours are loads brighter than when we looked at them online. Oh, I love this one. Your cheeky smile. (laughs) (laughs) You don't look too bad yourself. Oh, and this one of little Daisy, all dressed up in her wedding outfit with your mum. She looks so gorgeous. Good job she takes after Kayla and not Marcus, eh? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's a lovely one too. I suppose. Look how happy Jolene is. And Kenton. Well, probably only because he's been told to smile. Oh, eight. Now, come on, love. Of course he was happy. Was he, though? Yes. <laughs> you can't let everything else that's happened change how we remember that day. It's hard not to. It, it was the best day of my life. Me too. But the way Kenton's been ever since. I know, love. But it will get better. Come on. I've got lost to look at. You carry on if you like. I need to get off to the tea room. Oh, oh that's OK. We can look at them when you get back. Yeah, maybe. I'll see how I feel. The pickers are coming in this week. Oh, yes, of course. But I'll let Geraldine deal with all that. It should be a good year for the grapes, at least. Yes, with all that sunshine in June and July. Mm, Nigel would have been in his element. Mm, He would. Though, to be honest, the wine is hardly top of my list of priorities. No, I'm sure. Is Freddie all right this morning? Oh, yes, he's fine. He had a long lie-in. Good. It's obviously preying on his mind, though, the closer it gets. Well, I certainly think it'll help if we can find ways to distract him. I know, but it's trying to think what. I did suggest a ride this morning, but he wasn't very keen. It's a pity. He could do with the exercise. I think he feels a bit trapped, being stuck here at the stables. There's nothing to stop him going into the village. No, but you know what people can be like. Saying the wrong thing. Oh, I know. He's pretty sensitive about that. It wouldn't be such an issue, of course, if you went further afield. Well, that's true. Well, we could go to Borchester. Felpersham, perhaps. Maybe even Birmingham. Mm. You know, that's a really good idea. You could treat yourselves. Yeah, we could. 
where, though? Oh, I'm sure he'll love it wherever you go. Mm, yeah, hopefully. Thanks, Sheila. Um, by the way, I've been meaning to ask, has there been any progress with Alistair? Oh, well, yes, actually. Really? I know, I was surprised too. It's been dragging on for so long. Well, he could have made everything a lot easier if he hadn't messed you around with the financial side of things. I don't suppose you've seen much of him since then? No, I haven't, thank goodness. Well, we've agreed he's going to file the petition for divorce. But does that mean you're taking the blame? Well, yes. Oh, for heaven's sake, Sheila, you can't let him do that to you. No, honestly. Hi, Mum. Oh, sorry, I'm not interrupting, am I? No, 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 it's fine, Freddie. How are you? Mm. Yeah, I'm all right. Um, now, I was thinking it'd be really nice to have a day out, just the two of us. Oh, I don't know. We can go somewhere well away from Ambridge, just for a change. Why? To escape from everything that's been going on. I don't need to escape. I agree with your mum. I think it would do you both good. Yeah, we can have some fun together. Or we could just stay here. Oh, come on, Freddy. You've hardly been out at all recently. No, I know. And I've just thought of the perfect place we can go. Really? Yeah, I promise it'll be a real treat. Go on. You can come in, Harrison. Kenton's gone over to Brookfield to see Jill. Oh, right. Thanks, Jolene. I take it Fallon's not with you. No, nope, she's still at the tea room. <laughs> ah, of course. I've got something for you. Ah. Those prints you ordered from the wedding. Oh, brilliant. Let's see. They look pretty good, I think. Oh, they look amazing. Oh, aren't you both gorgeous? That's one of our favourites. Yeah. This one with you two is nice as well. Yeah, not bad. Well, there's a few more lines showing than I'd like. No, you look great. Oh. That outfit is stunning. Do you, do you reckon Kenton will want to see the others? I mean, we've got them all now. Yeah, of course he will. Well, I was, um, I was thinking it'd be nice to get together one evening, wouldn't it? All four of us. Yeah, it would. Only I can't see that happening at the moment. At least, well, not as far as Fallon's concerned. Well, I don't suppose Kenton would be up for it either. Yeah, don't you just wish you could knock their heads together, make them see sense? No, I know what you mean. I keep trying with Kenton. But he won't back down. <laughs> They're as stubborn as each other. Yeah, I know. So, it's going to be down to us, Harrison. We've got to sort this out somehow. You know, I'd forgotten just how amazing this place is. Oh. You and Lily used to love coming here. And so did we. Oh, just look at that amazing shark. Mm -hmm. I love watching the rays too. Oh yeah, they're brilliant. <gasps> we used to drive you mad with Finding Nemo, didn't we? <laughs> well, that's why we first came to the Sea Life Centre for yeah. the clownfish. <laughs> they're still brilliant even now. Do you remember Dad's impression? <laughs> he used to drive me mad. <sighs> He'd love it here today. Yeah, I know. So where do you want to go next? Um, maybe Reef Edge. Okay. I mean, let's face it, it's probably the closest I'll ever get to scuba diving on a reef. I'm sure you will one day. You reckon? Of course. Yeah, that's one of the things I was most looking forward to. I know. But believe me, Fred, you'll have plenty more opportunities to go in the future. Maybe. Come on, let's go and have a look. Okay. We can go bowling after that, if you like. Oh, yes. Bring it on. Only this time, be prepared for a thrashing. Ha! <laughs> you wish. <laughs> so you're heading straight back? Uh, actually, I thought I'd stay on a bit, if that's OK. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, me and Emma are going to start planning some events for the run-up to Christmas. Right. <laughs> Fun Mum, you're in the pool, aren't you? Yes, Kenton but... there. No, not at the moment. But I, I need to check if you're um, free on Tuesday evening. Why? I've... I've invited some guests over for dinner. You mean Mum and Kenton? Yes, but it'll be fine, I promise. Oh, Harrison, how could you? They want to see all the photographs. Kenton's dead keen. Is he? Yeah, so I thought we could make an evening of it and I can cook, if you like. Oh, why didn't you ask me first? I would have done, but I just Oh, it's a terrible idea. No, love, it isn't. Like I said, Kenton really wants to see the rest of the photographs. So? So it... <laughs> It's a great opportunity for us to all start talking again. Uh, it's got to happen sometime. OK. But I, I can't believe you're 
you just went ahead and did it like that. Yeah, I'm sorry. But don't worry, it'll be fine, I promise. Oh, sorry, Harrison, I've got a customer. I'll see you later, yeah. all right? Yeah, okay. Okay, bye, love. Bye. What does she think? She'll be fine with it. Sounded like you had to do a bit of persuading. A bit, but it'll be worth it in the end. All I've got to do is convince Kenton now. Mm. Do you want me to have a word? No. Well, don't you worry. I'll talk him round. OK, Mum, last ball. Go for it. Right. <laughs> oh, looking good. Ah, oh, hard luck. I wasn't too bad, was I? No, you were great. I only beat you by... Oh, 17 points this time. Well, that's pretty close. <sighs> you were really good. Especially those two strikes. I know. The people next door couldn't believe it either. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about them. They weren't exactly amazing. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame Lily isn't here as well. She'd have loved this. She'd have boasted about being the best, even if she lost. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Oh, I do miss her, though. We did say we weren't going to talk about her. Yeah, but it's fine to say that, isn't it? I suppose. I just wish I knew what's going on with her and Russ and this investigation. She still hasn't told you? Still don't know the outcome of the interviews they had. Well, if it's any consolation, she hasn't said anything to me, either. Oh, it's so frustrating. I know. But we really did say we weren't going to talk about this stuff. Sorry. Besides, Lily's old enough to make her own decisions. Only just. No, she is. And I'm sure she'll see sense eventually. Oh, well, let's hope so. The key thing is to learn from your mistakes, like I'm trying to do. I'm so pleased to hear you say that. Anyway, um, I don't know about you, but I am starving. <laughs> you can't be. Seriously, I could murder a burger and shake. Well, I don't know how you can. I'm still full from lunch. I'll pay. <laughs> There's no need. No, 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 I insist. There's no point saving it, is there? I suppose not. Live for today and all that. Absolutely. Joe's entering every category under the sun with his fruit and veg. I hear he's got a new technique for growing his aubergines. He usually keeps that sort of thing to himself. Oh, he just mentioned something the other day. Ah. I don't suppose he sees you as a threat, Peggy. Will George and Kira be entering anything? Oh, George has grown out of it, really. But Kira's doing a miniature garden and making an animal out of fruit. Oh, that sounds good. And Clary's entering Nick's harvest pie for Poppy, but it doesn't stand a chance of winning. Really? It was just Nick's way of getting the kids to eat leftover veg. Oh, I see. But Poppy's determined it's got to be made exactly the same way, so we can't let her down. Well, that sounds very thoughtful, Emma. Mm. You going to the Harvest Supper on Friday? Oh, yes. It's at the ball, isn't it? Mm. We're all going. Zed's birthday, too. So, it'll be a double Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, it should be fun. Kira always enjoys going. Something to look forward to. Yeah. We've got a lot to be thankful for, I suppose, when you think about what's happening in the world. Yes, that's very true. Both got jobs. Ed's ram lamb's looking really good. The kids are doing all right. Of course. And Mum and Dad are offering to help with the house deposit, if we actually get one. Oh, I expect you will. It's really generous of them. That's what being a parent's all about, though. Mm. Doing the best for your children. It's just a touch of bruised soul causing the lameness, so Cranford Crystal should be fine. I hope so. We can't afford to lose one of our star attractions. Oh, don't worry, Elizabeth. She's got plenty of life in her yet. Shula told me about the divorce petition, by the way. Oh, right. And about you getting her to take the blame. Is that what she said? You're the petitioner, aren't you? Which, frankly, she after... She didn't a... tell you it was a mutual decision? No, Well, she... I can assure you it was. Oh. Well, she didn't mention that. You should ask her about it next time you see her. I will. All I've got to do now is find the time to draft a petition. When I'm not trying to sell my business. I hope it really was mutual, Alison. Oh, it definitely was. And if we can move on, I'm sure you can. Oh, and um, I'll see you Friday. Oh? I told Freddie I'll come along to the hearing for moral support. Well, it's a kind thought, but don't feel you have to. I mean, technically, you're not family anymore. Oh. Besides, Freddie's doing really well at the moment, so I don't think he'll need it. Are you sure about that? 
because when I saw him on Friday, I'd have said he definitely needed support. I'm sorry, what do you mean? I expect you've already worked out what you're doing with your gentleman, the buttonhole, and you sure? Well, actually, no. So you're going to surprise us all, then? That is the point, Brown. One hardly wants to give away one's secrets in advance. That's true. I've hardly any to give away, Linda. And actually, I'm not entering the buttonhole. Anyway, I'd best be off. Oh, and don't forget your change. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Bye, then. Bye. I should make a move, too. Oh, good luck with all your other entries, Shula. Oh, thank you. Although I'm not sure it'll be that many. <laughs> you must be very busy. Oh, yes, Emma. I am, rather. Anyway, I'll see you around. Bye. Funny how Brian's suddenly so interested in flower arranging. Well, he's got a lot of time on his hands these mm. days. Peggy was saying they've had a few trips out together. Yes, they popped into Grey Gable several times. Huh. And the tea room? I think it's lovely he wants to spend so much time with her. Mm, I suppose so. Good morning, Robert. Oh, morning, Emma. These sweets for you? No, they're for the kids. Oh. How's Kira enjoying her karate? Oh, she loves it. You know, I always quite fancied having a go at karate. Actually, it's funny you should say that. I was asking one of the instructors, Lee, about adult classes the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they do one in Borchester. It was hmm. a bit too far, really. Have you thought about getting him to start a class in Ambridge? Well, that'd be great, but I don't suppose enough people would be interested. Well, I would for a start. Why don't you ask around, Emma? You might be surprised. Oh. Yeah. I could put up a poster, too, couldn't mm. I? Oh, well, how much do I owe you, by the way? Oh, um, £9.63. Right. Uh, would you be interested, Linda? Oh, I'm afraid not, Emma. I have far too many other things going on, which is why I won't be doing the panto this year. That's a shame. Not really. Well, you can put my name at the top of your list, Emma. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'll let you know where it goes. Gosh, karate, eh? Oh. <laughs> Please, Sorry. Robert, not in here. Um, hmm. uh, look, talking of the panto, has anyone put their hand up now Alan said he's not interested? No, he would have been the perfect choice. But he said he was working on other Christmas plans. I'm starting to wonder if anyone actually does want to take charge of it. Oh, I expect somebody will. <clears throat> Has there been a delivery this morning? Oh, yeah. Um, a man came round with a couple of rather large boxes. Oh, good. Cool. But I'm afraid Monty got rather excited and there was a bit of an accident. Oh, no. And he knocked over one of the sunflowers. Not my entry for no, the... No, don't worry, Lindy. Your prize specimen's perfectly safe, along with your cactus. Oh, thank heavens for that. You never know. That memorial cup could be yours this year. I'm sure Freddie must have told Shula not to say anything. Probably. So, you mustn't blame her. No, I won't. I really don't know my children at all. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. We had a wonderful day and I thought he was on top of everything. But perhaps I'm only seeing what I want to. What kind of mother does that make me? Oh, you can't know everything, Elizabeth. No parent can. I seem to be getting more things wrong than Stop most. Stop beating yourself up. You're doing a grand job in very difficult circumstances. You don't have to say that. Oh, I mean it. You gave Freddie a great day out. That's huge right now. Thanks. All any of us can do is support him as best we can. I know. Oh. Oh, that's my appointment with the valuer. Well, I'd better let you go then. But I'm glad we've had this talk. So am I. Keep your chin up. You'll get there. Oh, wow. Well, that's another reminder on the website about the flower and produce show. There you go. Look, you know I've been checking the harvest data, Jenny. Oh, have you? Well, I did tell you. And I've discovered we're well down on our first wheat figures. Oh, really? We're closer to three tonnes an acre than our usual four. And it's going to put a real dent in our profits. Isn't that down to seasonal variation? I, especially with the weather this year. Well, perhaps. But I think Adam's taken his eye off the ball. Oh, you can't blame Adam. You remember that party in Worcester they went to in the summer and they stayed over? Oh, vaguely, yes. The sprayer went down the same weekend. And for some reason he delayed before hiring another one. Oh, did he? By which time the damage would have been done. 
Can't you find something more constructive to do than keep finding fault with Adam? I don't. Especially when he's been working his socks off over the harvest and the drilling. Well, and... I'm not going to keep quiet if his poor decision-making is costing us, particularly at a time when every penny counts. Ah, so, books. Yes, to replace the ones Lady destroyed. And this one is for you. Oh, the Silmarillion! Mm. Thank you, Lindy. Well, it's the least I could do. Uh, what else is there? Ah, you've got some new ones as well. It's a very good selection. Evidently. In fact, it's been rather inspiring. Really? Yes. In light of the fact that no one seems to want to put on a panto this year, I it's thought... It's still very that... early, though. But, Robert, this feels like too good an opportunity to miss. Uh-oh. What Ambridge is crying out for is... is a production for the ages. Is it? Yes. This is my chance to make one last grand artistic statement as producer, director and actor. What have you got in mind? Oh, it's far too early to say. So you're not going to tell anyone? Not until I have my cast in place. How are you going to do that? Well... The first step is getting an invitation to Justin's soiree next week. And the people there are going to do it, are they? I'm afraid I can't say. What if they don't want to do it? Trust me, they will. I'm sure Linda was growing suspicious before. But you know I don't need any more help, darling. But that's not the point. I appreciate everything you've done, but he... Oh, uh, Emma! Sorry. Do you want a dessert from the board? Any, uh, uh, could we... you give us another five minutes, dear? OK. Ooh, perhaps we shouldn't talk about this here. No, probably not. I was going to ask if you've got any more viewings lined up. Oh, oh the agent says there have been a couple of inquiries. Uh, in his dreams. I think we should get another agent. Well, before you do, can I tell you about the conversation I had with my financial advisor? Oh, what about... I asked him which of my assets could be liquidated most easily so that I can help with some interim funding. Then you won't need to sell Home Farm. Oh, Mum, you know we can't take your money. It will be just a loan until the business is back on an even keel. Peggy, it's a generous thought, but we can't expect you to bail us out. Especially since it was my stupidity that got us into this mess in the first place. Well, I agree, that was stupid. I can't bear the thought of you losing your home. It's already been decided, Mum. Selling the house is by far the best way of clearing our debt. Even so, so, for the last time, there is no need for you to touch a single penny. Well, I'm just so glad you and Alistair were there for him, Shula. Oh, so are we. And by the way, you know Freddie's told Lily not to come on Friday. Has he? Well, she's got a very important tutorial the same day and he doesn't want her missing out because of him. Mm. Well, that sounds very mature. You know, I honestly think he's turned a corner. Oh, well, I wish he had. There's something else, isn't there? Oh, look, you can't say a word. Well, you know I wouldn't. He still hasn't told the police everything. How do you mean? When Harrison arrested him... It wasn't the first time he'd been dealing. No. He'd been doing it for several months with another student called Ellis. I had no idea. He only told me after his arrest, but it goes right back to Nolitandu's birthday in January. Really? She overdosed, Shula. It was very serious. Oh, my God. He really should tell them everything. Oh, yes, of course he should. If they find out he's lied, withheld information, then it could really go against him. Does Usha know? Oh, yes. I mean, we've both been trying desperately to convince him. Oh. But he just won't listen. You mustn't give up trying, Elizabeth. No, no, I won't. But if he doesn't change his mind and they do find out, he could be looking at a lengthy prison sentence. Ian reckons the competition at the flower and produce is going to be stiffer than ever this year. Oh, does he? You know, Fallon's been asked to help him with the judging, don't you? Oh, funnily enough, I didn't. But I'm sure she'll tell us all about it tonight. Oh, come on, Kenton. Got to admit, it's a real feather in her cap. 
Oh, I suppose so. Yeah, shows people are taking her seriously now. Well, it's her that needs to take things seriously. Oh, for heaven's sake. Stop being such a grump. Sorry, Jolene, but you know, I'm just still not sure why we're going tonight. You know why. So I want you on your best behaviour, all right? Yeah, yeah, OK, I'll try my best. So long as she does the same. Uh, Sarah that invited us over, so I reckon you're on safe ground there. Well, Nathan was saying we could do with some new darts. Oh, well, that shouldn't break the bank. I'll pick some up tomorrow. Oh, great. Were you talking to Alistair earlier? Yeah, he was saying he's got a meeting coming up with his solicitor about selling the practice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shula mentioned something about that. It's Lovell James, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. The ones who were going to buy him out before Anisha turned up. Yeah, which didn't turn out to be the smartest move in the world. No. Well... Sounds like he'll be glad to hand it over. Shula's pretty relieved too. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, yeah. Means they should be able to tie up all the loose ends together with the divorce. Yeah. And then it's all over and done with. Mm. Well, hopefully it'll be similar with Freddy on Friday. Yeah? Get a fine, and then he can move on with his life. Oh, that poor guy must be dreading it. To put it mildly. You're still going, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going. He needs all the support he can get. Yeah, what Elizabeth must be going through and all. Oh, that's the other reason I'm going. And Shula, when it's family, you stick together, don't you? Yes, you do. It'd be nice to think that Fallon could understand that. Oh, Kenton. I'm just saying. I know what you're just saying, but if asking us over to look through their wedding album isn't family sticking together, I don't know what is. There's a difference, though, isn't there? Well, between what? Well, family ties and family loyalty. Oh, honestly! No, my point is, if Harrison hadn't arrested Freddie, him and Elizabeth wouldn't be living through this nightmare. Oh, stop it, Kenton! I don't want to hear the same argument again! Look, tonight's our chance to start over, and we're going to take it. All right. See you. Was that Nolly Tando? Uh, yeah. How is she? Fine. She wished me luck for Friday. Oh, that's nice. Um, Freddie. Yeah? Have you spoken to Usha recently? No. But you know we've got a meeting arranged on Thursday to make sure I'm prepared. Yeah, that's right. But I was thinking maybe it would be a good idea to go and see her before then. Why? Well, I, I really think you need to reconsider not telling the police about Ellis. No, and... Mum, I'm not doing this. But, Freddie, it's... No, I'm going to get something to eat. I'm starving. Look, you can't just walk away from uh, me, Freddie. Yes, I can. There we go. You're not expecting us to sit in the dark, are you? No. It's just the one candle, scented with lemon verbena, to help the mood. If you say so... What time are they getting here? Oh, any time now. Unless they're going to be fashionably late. They're having second thoughts. Oh, come on, love. It, it's going to be fine. Bingo. That's them. <laughs> right on cue. Yeah. I still can't believe we're doing this. Look, Kenton, this is your last warning. Yes, all right. Yeah, best behaviour from now on, OK? Mm-hmm. Hey. Hiya! Hiya. 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 You too, you made it then. <laughs> yeah, of course. We've been looking forward to this all day, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. we have, yep. yeah. yeah. It's good to see you, Kenton. Yeah, I see you brought a bottle. Well, how much <laughs> of a publican if I can't provide some alcohol? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyway, in you go. I think you know the way. Oh, well, we, we should do by now. Oh. Right. Fallon's got the albums all ready for you. really nervous in this one. <laughs> I was worried in case you said I don't. I if I'd say that. <laughs> I know, love, I'm only joking. And if we turn the page... <gasps> oh, look, Kenton. Mm. It's bride and groom. Don't they look gorgeous? They do, yeah. Oh, the way they're looking deep into each other's eyes. Oh, I'm off again. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's one of our favourites as well. Isn't it, Fallon, love? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Hey, we've got that one as a print, haven't we? Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, we have. There's some really good ones of you two in a minute. If you just turn the page again. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely one of you, Kenton. Well, we both look good. Mm, scrubbed up quite nicely. You both look fabulous. Everyone did. We couldn't have asked for more. Yeah. Um, by, by the way, we um, 
We really appreciate you asking us over like this. It's all right. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Felon. Yeah. No, you should thank Harrison. It was his idea. Oh, I see. Shall we look at the reception ones now? Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, there's a brilliant one of you with your tie wrapped round your head, Kenton. But what? Oh, no, you haven't put that one in, have you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's here. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a classic. I was still laughing at Chris's joke about where Harrison keeps his cricket stumps. <laughs> oh, I could have murdered him when he came up with that one. <laughs> oh, look at the flowers. Christine did such an amazing job with the displays. Oh, yeah, they were beautiful. Oh, those oh. colours. Oh, get a load of this one. <laughs> oh, oh, that ain't fair, Kenton. Well, you're stuffing that cake down, Jolie. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> I'm still gosmacked. I managed to make it in the first place. That was a really great cake, Mum. Oh, hey, Jolie, can you... Give me a hand in the kitchen. Uh, OK. Um, do you want to sit here, Fallon, so you can see him better? Right. Well, you haven't seen them all yet. Well, that's fine. I'll catch up later. I'm cooking tonight, so I need some expert advice. We'll be back in a minute. Mum, please, just give me a break, will you? No, Freddie, this is far too important. But you keep going on and on about is it. Because you're not listening to me. I am listening. I'm just not agreeing with you. It's perfectly simple. So you keep saying. Well, it's true, though. Why do you keep getting on at me now? Because there's hardly any time left to change your statement. For the last time, I'm not changing it, OK? Well, that's just stupid. Fine! Then I'm stupid. How many times do Usha and I have to tell you? You have got to let the judge know about Ellis and all your other drug dealers. No way. I'm not bringing Ellis into this. But if they see you've been straight with them, it could make all the difference yes. in the sentence. It'll make it much worse. No, it won't. The chances are they'll find out anyway. <sighs> so it's much better coming from you. How are they going to find out? Ellis isn't going to tell them. Oh, God. Why can't you see it's in your interest to come clean? I really don't get how you make that out. Because you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. What? By telling them I was a regular drug dealer? No, by being honest and letting them know it wasn't all your fault. Right. What is it about this Ellis that makes you so unwilling to tell the truth about him? You don't know him, Mum. It's, it's not that simple. What did Nolitando say about all this? Well, she... She said... I mean, was she happy that you'd protected the person who supplied the drug that almost killed her? No. Not really. She thinks I should dob him in. At least she's got some sense. And, and Johnny? Johnny was the same. Well, if your friends can see it, why can't you? I still can't believe that I got up and sang in front of everyone. Well, you were brilliant. Oh, maybe we should have hired a bouncy castle instead. That would have been more fun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Still, it must be pretty unique, having the bride perform at her own wedding. Well, it's certainly cheaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose. Oh, this Chris and Alice with the DJ, he was amazing. Yeah, he was all right. If I'm honest, I'm really glad we ended up with him. What do you mean? Well, you know, what with Freddie... Well, I have to say... I think that's pretty insensitive, Fallon. No, I only meant... That, that poor boy is being sentenced this week and you, you just can't resist having a go, uh, can you? You're taking it the wrong way, Kenton. One little mistake. Uh, that's all it was. But now his life is ruined uh, thanks to Harrison. Oh, now that is not fair. Hey, you two. <laughs> is everything OK? We should be ready in a couple of minutes. We should never have come. Oh, Kenton! Look, I, I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure we can work it out. Yeah, who wants another drink? No, thanks. Fallon clearly still has a problem with Freddie. No, I haven't. I honestly don't think she has. <laughs> Do you not understand what you have done to oh, him? Canton, uh, leave look, it. If you'd let me finish, uh, all I was going to say was that Freddie's taste in music isn't the same as ours. Yeah, yeah right. But you've blown everything out of proportion. No, I am just telling you the truth. <sighs> Harrison's complete overreaction is tearing our family apart. That's ridiculous. You can't blame Harrison for Freddie being a drug dealer. Right, that's it, Jolene. We're going. Oh, but Kenton... I am not staying in this house a second longer. Oh, I'm so sorry, my darling. It's not your fault. Jolene! Yes. All right, I'm coming. <sighs> so, now we're back where we started. Or worse. He's the one who completely overreacted. I know, love. But but maybe it was a stupid idea to think it could ever work in the first place. No, no, it wasn't. Still pretty raw, isn't it? 
He's upset about what's happening to Freddie this week. Yeah, I understand that, but... Do you know what, though? I, I really don't care anymore. I mean, thanks for trying, babe, but... I... Honestly, I'm done with him. You do realise, Freddie, that the same thing's going to happen to someone else one day. So long as Ellis is still out there. Maybe. It'll be just like Nolitando all oh, over again. Don't say that. Wait, well, remember how cut up you were about her? Yeah, well, that was really scary. So just think how you'd feel if the same thing, or even worse, happened to someone else. I'd never forgive myself. Precisely. You have to stop Ellis. <laughs> Why did I ever get involved with him? I'm such an idiot. But you can still do something about it, Freddy, if you tell the no, police. But they'll know I'm a liar, though. Well, these things aren't easy, but I'm sure they'll understand. I keep thinking about Dad and what he'd have to say. He'd never have been so stupid, would he? No, he wouldn't. But if he was in the same position, what do you think he'd do? Ah. Oh. You're right. I'm going to go and see Usha. What now? Yes. I want to change my statement. Well, why do we go in the morning? No, Mum. I need to do it now. Because if I don't, I probably never will. Good morning, Hannah. Hi, Tom. Can I get you anything? Tea, coffee, juice? It's OK. I can open the fridge myself. I laid you a place. Oh, no. You're doing it again, aren't you? What? You know, what we talked about the other day. You're being all formal and nice. I'm not being nice. Yes, you are, and it's freaking me out. I'm just trying to be helpful. No, Tom, you've got to stop doing this. OK. But you're sure that there's nothing I can get you? Why are you being so nice to me? What do you actually want? Nothing. Could it be my limited edition David Tennant as Doctor Who figurine, maybe? No. Or my collection of Westlife CDs, which I don't play anymore. <laughs> Westlife, be serious. Tom, if you want to have sex with me again, then at least come out and say so. <laughs> I don't! Oh, great, thanks. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. You regret it? Of course I don't regret it. Why would I? I don't know, but people do. No, it was fun. Oh, that's good to know. You don't regret it, do you? Do I look like I do? Well, I did wonder if you might think it was all a big mistake. Nah. As long as you haven't sold our story to the tabloids. <laughs> like they'd be interested. Oh, I don't know. Nice girl like me, big shot entrepreneur like you. <laughs> Are you ever serious? It generally works better if I'm not. But I can pretend if you want me to. Uh, no, I'll take you just the way you are, thanks. Uh, so to speak. <laughs> you should have seen the look on Jack's face just now. All right, what's he been doing? No, it's Henry, practising his karate moves. Again? Jack was just staring at him as if to say, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> can imagine. Are they coming down? Mm, Henry's helping him brush his teeth. Did you hear that Emma wants to start an adult karate class? Do you think there'll be enough interest? Well, hopefully. She's very keen, apparently. Well, Lee and Bryn, the guys who run it, are very good. Now, have you seen Henry's book bag? Uh, yeah, it's over there on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, Ella. Hi, Tom. Morning, Mum. I've got your flasks ready. Oh, thanks. That's great. Um, by the way, Helen, are you making anything for the harvest supper? Uh, I'm not sure I'll have time. Well, if I do a casserole and a couple of apple pies, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Mm, sounds like plenty. I take it you're still going? Oh, yeah. Jack and Henry are coming. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I wonder who'll be going from Brookfield and the stables. They all do, usually. Yeah, I know, but it's the same day as Freddie's sentencing. Yeah, that's true. Then I presume it'll depend on what happens. Mm. Johnny's going, isn't he? To the sentencing, I mean. Yes. Yeah, he wants to be there for his mate. Still can't believe Freddie got involved with drugs. I know. Well, hopefully he'll learn from his mistakes. It's a pretty high price to pay if he ends up going to prison. You never know. He might just get a fine. It's a first offence. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what the judge thinks. Yes, it does. Uh, by the way, has Dad mentioned we wanted to have a chat this afternoon? No. What for? Well, we think it's about time we made a decision on the dairy herd and the agroforestry. Definitely. I agree. Good. Then, how about after lunch? Uh, yeah, sounds great. Oh, no. What are they doing now? Henry? 
Jack, have you finished brushing your teeth? I think you better go and check. <laughs> we need to go in five minutes. No, we definitely need to get a move on if we're going ahead. Well, let's see. Yeah. It's good that Helen can talk about Freddy. Yeah. Must bring it all back, though. No, I'm sure it does. Probably helps having her mind focused on other things, like the dairy herd. Hmm. So we're definitely making a decision this afternoon. Well, we've talked about it for long enough, so I think we've got to, haven't we? Is this poster another one of your big ideas, Emma? No, it's just a karate class, Hannah. You'll never get enough people interested round here. Well, that's where you're wrong. Am I? Yeah. Loads of people have already said they're interested. Oh, really? How many? Lots. Oh, go on then. Who exactly? I'm not going to give you names. It'd be breaching confidentiality. <laughs> yeah, right. Or in other words, they don't exist. Yeah, of course they do. So is this all part of being a good little parish council? It's got nothing to do with a parish council. I just want to do something for the village. It's what you do when you're a decent person. Oh, so that's what this is. Selfless Emma comes to the rescue again. Karate for the masses. Brilliant idea. I don't have to stand here and listen to this. Oh, good luck with getting all those people, because I reckon you haven't got a hope in hell. He says to go ahead without him. Was that Dad? What's happened? Well, he ran short of creep feed for the calves and nipped into Borchester. But the engine's blown up and now he's waiting for recovery. Oh, no. Shall we reschedule? No, no, it's fine. I can speak for both of us. And we can't keep putting it off. No, I suppose not. So, what we've got is two sets of proposals. The dairy herd mm -hmm. and the agroforestry. Right. Now, I should start by saying that your father and I haven't always been in agreement during our discussions. No surprise there. Although, as you know, we have agreed to let the Angus's go, if necessary. Uh, yes, but hopefully not all of them. However, if there's one thing we've always agreed on... It's that a dairy herd should be at the heart of what Bridge Farm does next. Great. Which is why we think Helen's proposal of a specialist breed for her cheese is exactly the sort of visionary idea we're looking for. And what about my trees? Well, to use your father's words, he thinks agroforestry is a bold, experimental and, to a certain extent, unproven idea. Oh, that's unfair. I'd say it's pretty accurate. I know Dad has reservations about using the same land to grow trees and vegetables and graze animals. But that's so old-fashioned. We need flexibility to embrace new ideas, otherwise we'll just stagnate. Oh, come on, Tom. Look, if you'll just let me finish... Sorry? What I was going to say is, after considering all the pros and cons, we've decided the agroforestry is worth pursuing as well. Really? really? Yes, so long as you two agree to back each other then you have our blessing for both projects. Oh, thanks, Mum. That's brilliant. Well, it actually reminds me of when we first decided to go organic. Does it? Yeah, we always like to think we were ahead of the game when it came to humane, sustainable farming. You were. And both these ideas fit right in with that. What do you think, Helen? I'm really pleased you want to go ahead. What do you think about the trees, though? Well... Like Dad said, it does all seem a bit experimental but to me. People have been running these projects successfully for a long time now. Yes, but even you'd have to admit they can take years to produce a decent return. <sighs> if they ever do. What about all those costings I did for the parlour? I've backed you all the way. And I'm very grateful. But how would you like it if I suddenly decided your cows were a waste of time? I wouldn't like it at all. And we'd be right back to square one, but that's not going to happen. No? No. Because as long as you've got Mum and Dad's support for the trees, then I'm happy to go along with them as well. You could sound a bit more enthusiastic. I'm being honest, Tom. It doesn't mean I won't put everything into trying to help your scheme as well as mine. Oh. Well, that's great. So we're all agreed then? Yeah, we are. Fantastic. And now we've made our decision. We need to get a move on. Oh, that's true. There's a parlour to sort. <laughs> and Mom Belliard's to choose. Plus, I need to select and plant my trees. <laughs> this is going to be so exciting. Sorry, there's just a couple of things I need to do before collecting Henry. Well, perhaps we can celebrate later when your dad gets back. Yeah, yeah, maybe. See you. Well, that wasn't so bad in the end, was it? No. And you know who we should tell first? Dad? Oh, yes, obviously. 
but I can't wait to let Johnny know he's going to be our new herdsman. Oh, yes, of course. Which is the best news of all, really. Oh, Helen, have you got a minute? Uh, yeah. Gosh, it's a lot of mayonnaise. Uh, we get through it like nobody's business. Yeah, I'm sure. I was just going to warn you to watch out for Brian and Peggy over the next few days. Why? Because they're up to something with the flour and produce. Really? So don't give away any secrets if they ask what you're doing for it. Well, we're only making brownies and a couple of greetings cards for the children's section. Still, you can't be too careful. Uh, OK, well, like to the heads up, Emma. Um, I ought to get on. There is one other thing. Mm-hmm. What's that? I don't know if you've heard, but I'm trying to set up an adult karate class. Yeah, yeah, Mum mentioned it earlier. But I'm struggling to get enough people to sign up. Well, how many do you need? Oh, Lee reckons ten minimum. I've only got four so far. And you've been asking around? Yeah, I put a poster up in the shop with my email. And Jennifer put something on the village website for me. Well, if you like, I can mention it to people too. Oh, thanks. But I, I was wondering if... You'd like to have a go. A karate? Yeah, why not? You've seen how much the kids love it. There's no reason why we can't have some fun oh, too. Sorry, but I really don't think it's for me. Honestly, you'd be great at I'm it. just not into contact sports. But it isn't really a contact sport, is it? No, no, all right, but I still can't see myself doing it. Well, good luck, though. You know it's a fantastic way of keeping fit too. Oh, yeah. Um, I really ought to go, Emma. And what about Henry? Think how much it would mean to him if you could join in. He's always pestering me too. I know, I've seen. And how disappointed he looks when you tell him you can't. Well, that's a bit unfair. Sorry, Helen. But, but it's the same with me and Kiro, which is why I'm doing it. Yeah, I can see that. Imagine the looks on their faces if we could practice with them at home. <laughs> Complete shock, I should think. <laughs> and Henry'd be so thrilled, wouldn't he? Uh, yes, yes he would. Why don't you come to the first session and see what you think after that? Yeah, I suppose I could. So I put you down in the list? All right. <laughs> Why not? Great. I promise you will not regret it. Hi, Tom. Just been catching up with your dad. Oh, yeah? The Anguses are such beautiful animals, aren't they? Yeah. He's really going to miss them. But it's all part of the deal for moving the farm on. So he told you then? Yeah. But, like he said, it's no good getting too sentimental. No, it isn't. He told me about his adventures with the car, too. Breaking down on the butchers, the bypasses, no one's idea of fun. And he missed your meeting. Yes, but you know they've agreed to all our plans. I know, he said. <laughs> it's everything I wanted, Hannah. Everything? Well, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, Emma just asked me if I wanted to do karate. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, apparently Helen's already signed up. Oh, well, good for her. I told her it's not my thing, though. Very sensible. Anyway, how come you're here? Well, I could tell you I was just passing, saw Tony and thought I'd say hello. Except Bridge Farm isn't exactly on your route home. <laughs> no. By the way, have you noticed? What? I don't smell of pig. <laughs> Shame. It's hard to beat that heady aroma. Oh, I know, it's a real turn on. <laughs> no, I got off early, had a shower and thought I'd come and see you. That's nice. You know uh, Johnny's out this evening? No, he didn't mention it. Well, he is. So that means we've got the house to ourselves. Did you have something in mind? I can think of one or two things. <laughs> well, you could help me celebrate. I'm always up for that. Well, now it's official that we're going ahead with the cows and the trees. Fantastic. We could even get a bottle of fizz. And raise a toast to Bridge Farm's bright new future. Hmm, that sounds pretty good to me. Oh, thanks, Mum. Can't believe I left this jacket here. Well, you've probably got a lot on your mind. No more than usual. Oh, no, there's Ed's birthday tomorrow, and the harvest supper, plus the flour and produce on Sunday. That's true. <coughs> You're doing them brigadieros, aren't you? Yeah, but you haven't told anyone, have you? <laughs> no, love, why would I? Well, it's just... I reckon Jennifer's got Brian and Peggy spying for her. You what? I heard them talking about it the other day. Really? Yeah. And Brian was in the shop asking Schuler about flower arranging. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I know. And Peggy's been asking some funny questions as well. But you reckon they're trying to get inside information? Yeah, I do. 
But why? Well, I suppose it means Jennifer will know what competition she'll be facing. Oof. Your dad's still hoping to win with his leaks and courgettes. But he probably doesn't stand a chance against Joe and Bert. Mm, or Cecil. Mm. And Clary's still entering Nick's Harvest Pie. I just hope Poppy don't get too upset when it didn't win. Oh, poor kid. Mm. Oh, by the way, Emma, did you find enough people for your karate class? Yeah, yeah, I meant to say. I've managed to get it up to six, mm. maybe even seven definites. And a couple of strong maybes. Well, is that enough? It's good enough for now. Oh, good for you. Yeah, at least it'll show Hannah. It was hard work finding him, though. Oh, I bet. So, anyway, I left a message for Lee last night. Right. He texted back this morning, and he says he'll let me know about booking a slot at the village hall. Oh, well done, <laughs> love. So, hopefully now all I've got to do is make sure they turn up. No, I'm sure that telling Usha to change your statement was the right <sighs> thing to do. I never want to be interviewed by the police again. You were very brave. I was literally shaking at one point. Oh, Freddy. I still feel pretty wired now. But at least you kept your word and told them the truth. I don't know what good it'll do. They did say you were doing the right thing, though, didn't they? Yes, but they would say that. Well, not if they didn't mean it. You know, I'm really proud of you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, did they say when the judge will get to read your new statement? Yeah. And they promise that the judge won't repeat any of it in court. There you are, then. It's completely anonymous, so no one, including Ellis, will find out. And presumably the, um, the letter about your honesty in coming forward will go with it. That's what they said. I hope so. And I got a text from a mate last night saying they've already dragged Ellis back in. Oh, well, that's good news. It means it's already working. Mm, I've no idea what happens next, though. If he gets released, he'll probably still work out that it was me... I'm sure that won't happen. You don't know Ellis. Anyway, have you had breakfast yet? Yeah, I've had some porridge. Good. How's Crystal doing, by the way? Oh, she's fine. I really want to see her. Don't worry, she's getting lots of TLC. It's weird how much I really miss stuff back there. Well, everyone here really misses you too. And I tell you what, as soon as I finish here, I'll come over. I thought you were really busy today. No, it's fine. We can do something nice together, like on Sunday. If you like. Well, it's the least I can do when you've been so brave. Don't overdo it, Mum. I mean it, though. You know, what you've done could well make all the difference, and I am really proud of you. You don't have to keep saying that. I'm sure your dad would have been, too. So, what do you want to do? Um, you can decide, if you like. I could always thrash you again at bowling. <laughs> Maybe something different this time. OK, well, I'll have a think about it. Or we can decide when I get there, can't we? So long as it's well away from Ambridge. Oh, I'm sure that can be arranged. Hmm. Second time around. I'm very naughty. Yeah, that's great. So, tell me, Tom, how exactly did you manage to get the green light for your trees? <laughs> what? I'm interested. Uh, uh, well, the fact that Mum was always on my side obviously helped. Obviously. It was a lot more touch and go with Dad, though. And what about Helen? She was never that keen, was she? No, but I did a lot of work on the costings for her parlour and I kept saying all the right things about her cows. Buttering her up. Uh, if you like. <laughs> but when it came down to it, the clincher was definitely her knowing if she voted against me, then I'd veto the dairy. <laughs> Brexit's got nothing on your family, has it? <laughs> Too right. <laughs> Uh, Helen's a pretty sharp operator. I know. She's got her head screwed on, that girl. I just wish I could get her to see that the trees actually do make sense. She'll get there in the yeah, end. They'll add just as much to the bottom line as her cows, even if it does take more time. Do you want me to put in a good word? Well, probably wouldn't do any harm. She trusts you. When are you going to start planting? Uh, I need to put them in this winter. But first, I've got to draw up a plan for where they're going. Well, better get on with it then. Slacker! <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> oh, 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 I thought he wasn't coming back till tonight. That's what he said. Oh. Can you imagine if he catches us like this? Uh, that might just be a bit awkward. Dirty Uncle Tom. Oh, please don't go there. <laughs> we could always tell him you came in looking for something. Oh, what? And then my trousers fell off. <laughs> oh, you'll be all right. You're nearly dressed. Yep. Yeah, but... All done. Right. 
Um, OK, Tom, that's great. I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Just let me know next time you want a rematch. Good news. Yeah, it's Lee. He's just got back to me about the karate. Oh, yes. Yeah, we got a slot starting in two weeks' time. Oh, well done, love. On Wednesday evenings. I still can't see what the attraction is, though. Uh, it's about getting fit and strong, Mum. No, oh, I suppose. Right, well, I have to let everyone know now. Eh? Yeah. Turn some of those maybes into definites. Yeah. <sighs> I saw Kenton earlier. You know, it's Freddie's sentencing tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hard to believe it's happening to one of the pargeters. I know. Yeah, I was thinking I could tell him a thing or two. <sighs> oh, so you and Ned are going to the harvest supper tomorrow night? What? Yeah, you know we are. <gasps> Hello, Elizabeth. Afternoon, oh. Susan. Emma? Afternoon, Elizabeth. Hi, Emma. Hi, Freddie. I've... Got to go to the tea room. <laughs> OK, love, I'll see you later. Bye. <clears throat> I haven't seen you for a while, Freddy. Uh, no. I've been busy, you know. Oh. Is there anything I can get you? Oh, no, we're just looking, thanks. Why don't you choose something to eat for later? Yeah, all right. Having a night in. You're just watching films and playing games. Oh, nice. And as I'm sure you know, Freddie's got a big day ahead of him tomorrow. Mum? Mm, yeah, I, I did hear. Yeah. Let's just get these and go. It's all right, Freddie, there's no rush. Uh, how much are they? I won't take your money. Why not? Because I'll cover it. Uh, but there's... Uh, look, I've been where Freddie is. I know what he's going through. Oh. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. It's very kind of you, Susan. In the garden, Hannah. OK. Fancy a beer? Actually, I won't. Well, suit yourself. Oh, are you all right? It's not been the best day. Oh? There was another problem with the feeder. Neil got in a right flap. That doesn't sound like him. I just don't think he copes well under pressure. Well, he always seems quite calm in a crisis, though. I don't get why you're so down on him. Since we fell out over the affordable housing. Really? Well, just don't respect him anymore. And he knows it. But Neil's got more integrity than anyone I know. That may be your experience, Tom, but it isn't mine. But why... Everyone's you... got their price. His is obviously getting a house for his daughter. Hey, that's unfair. Sorry, but it's what I think. And you won't change my mind. Oh, I wish I could. Anyway... I'll leave you to your beer. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, I don't like seeing you like this. D don't, Tom. What if Johnny sees us? Oh, I really don't think he's looking. We nearly blew it this morning. And we are supposed to be keeping it just between us. Yeah, I know. So, are you up for a drink later? Johnny wants a distraction from Freddie's sentencing. Oh, I know. It's so sad. But I can't. Well, why not? I've got another date with Chad. What, the bloke who dropped you last week? He did have a really good reason, to be fair. So, does that mean that last night was... No, it was great. But I still want to date Chad. Right. Well, we can have the occasional fling, though. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just finding this all a bit weird. You seeing both of us at the same time. It's not that strange, Tom. I like different people. And besides, you've got Natasha, haven't you? Well, yes. But I'm not sleeping with her. We should call her. Well, I was going to. I want her advice before starting my tree plant. Well, that's a great chat-up line. She'll know all about the right proportions for planting the fruit and nut trees. <laughs> Sounds like you're on to a winner. I hope so. <gasps> so, why don't you keep going for fruit and nut, Natasha, while I hang on to my chad? And we can keep what we've got between us low-key on the side. At least for now. Deal? OK. Deal. Your dad and I used to go to that pub when we wanted to treat ourselves. Nice. I hope it's helped to forget about tomorrow, at least for a little bit. No, not really, but that's not your fault. That was really kind of Susan, wasn't it? Mm. I still can't get over it, to be honest. I think it shows that underneath, most people are on your side. Mm. Maybe. Hey, we should have turned off there. Not if we're going home. But we can't. Mum, it's not allowed. I know. 
But it's going to be fine, Freddy. What if someone reports us? I'll be breaking my bail conditions. Yes, but I'll make sure no one sees us. Well, how can you be sure? I can't believe you're doing this. I just want you to be able to sleep in your own bed and see Cranny and the other animals. Oh, I'd love to, but why are we stopping? Because this is how we're going to get in without anyone seeing you. How? There's a blanket on the back seat. You'll have to climb over, huh? crouch down in the footwell and cover yourself up. You're joking. No, I'm not. It's nearly dark anyway, but this way we can be doubly sure. Uh, this is crazy. You're my mother. You don't do this sort of thing. Well, at least I can still surprise you. You could get into some serious trouble for this. I know, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Why, though? Because I couldn't be prouder of you than I am right now. Even though I've monumentally screwed up. It doesn't matter, Freddy. I promise I'll make it up to you. Like, no matter how long it takes. I know you will. I'm so sorry for what I've done. But you'll learn from it. And you'll go on to have a wonderful life. Now, let's do this. Go on. OK. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you? What an amazing mum you are. Once or twice, uh, though not recently. Well... You are best mum in the world. Thank you. I love you so much, Freddy. And I promise, no matter what happens tomorrow, we're going to get through this. I can't believe you did that. No, I know. I must be mad. We dropped in at Brookfield on the way here. You didn't tell them where he was last night, did you? Heavens no, Mum would have kittens. How was she? Oh, well, you know, she was trying her best for Freddy and said she wanted to come. I take it she isn't going? No, Freddy was really sensible and persuaded her out of it. Oh, thank goodness. But everyone wished him luck. It's a good job you sent me that text last night or I'd have been really worried. Sorry about the subterfuge, Shula. Well, at least no one saw you. It was a very close call with Edgar when we snuck out to see Cranford Crystal. What happened? Well, he was fetching something from one of the cars and Freddy was hiding behind a bush for about five minutes. Edgar just wouldn't stop talking. Oh, poor Freddy. At least he got to sleep in his own bed. Could be a while before he'll be able to do that again. How do you think he's bearing up? I'm not sure. He's been very quiet this morning. That's hardly surprising. Oh, Lily called to wish him good luck, though. Good. I think Freddie was hoping she'd ignore what he said and come anyway, though of course he'd never admit to oh, it. Oh, no. I do wonder if she stayed away at least in part because of me. Oh, I shouldn't think so. After all, Freddie told her not to come, and it is a long way. Yeah, plus she had a tutorial this morning, so it does make sense. Even though I'm sure you'd have loved to have seen her. So what's the latest with Alistair and the divorce petition? Well, he's been working on it all week. I still don't understand why you're taking the blame. Oh, because somebody has to, and we agreed it's the best way forward. So it really was a mutual decision? Oh, yes. And at least he's had the good grace to let me see his draft before sending it off. How was it? Well, it's not much fun reading a list of your own faults. Let's put it like that. It must be dreadful. You have to give several reasons, and they're all supposed to have occurred within the last six months. Sounds rather clinical. Mm, it is. Well, the first one, refusal to pursue counselling, that's fair enough. And the second? Misrepresentation of reason for separation. That's a fair cop, too. Really? Yes, it was me who went round telling everyone the feeling was mutual, when it definitely wasn't. At least not to begin with. OK. But the third... Sorry, I can't help laughing when I think about it. Why? What did he say? He was obviously trying to be diplomatic, but... Unilateral revocation of affinity and cessation of connubial congress. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. It sounds like something Jim had presented at a conference. Oh, it must be pretty humiliating, though, seeing all that written down. Mm, especially our sparse sex life. Mm. But on the other hand, it's only ever going to be seen by a handful of lawyers. I suppose so. So in the end, we've gone for withdrawal of physical affection and emotional intimacy. Well, that's better. Which is both true and a lot easier to understand. I don't envy what you're going through, Sheila. Oh, well, 
The most important thing now is just to be honest with each other and the court. Of course. Then hopefully it'll all go through as quickly and painlessly as possible. Fingers crossed. And at least Alistair can concentrate on his buyout by Lovell James now. Oh, yes, he mentioned that as well. Mm. As for me, I just want to get on with the rest of my life. Yeah. Mm, that sounds like Freddy. I hope he's ready for this. Yes. Is it time to go yet? Um, nearly. Freddy, you look really smart. Thanks. Yes, you do. Oh, that's probably Alistair. I'll see you outside, shall I? Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Do I really look okay? Yes, darling, you look fine. But just let me sort the tie. I just can't believe it's actually happening. I know. Come here. Mm. This could be the last time I see this place for a while. Don't say that, Freddy. With any luck, we'll all be back later. Maybe. Let's see. I was wondering if you'd like to meet up this afternoon at the tea room. Oh, yes, that would be nice. <laughs> Good, because Jenny's going to be baking all day for the harvest supper. Yes, Christine's doing the same, ah. and I'd rather like to keep out of her way. <laughs> Good, well, that's settled then. How are Jennifer's preparations going for Sunday? Oh, that's all full steam ahead. But at least we've done everything we can to help her. Yes, we have. So it's fingers crossed now. Definitely. And is there any more news on the house? Oh, I'm afraid not, Peggy. But we're not worried, so you mustn't go thinking Oh, that... I wasn't thinking anything, Brian. I'm just interested, that's all. Right. Well, as soon as there is any news, you can rest assured you'll be first to know. Thank you. You know Fred is in court today, don't you? Yes. I've been thinking about Elizabeth a lot. And what she's been going through. I know, I know. He's been very stupid. And incredibly selfish. Oh, he has. Well, hopefully he'll get off with a caution and a fine, seeing it's his first offence. So long as it puts him off ever doing it again. Yes, of course. But I dare say we'll all find out before too long. It's all right to feel a bit nervous, Freddy. I just couldn't stand waiting there with all those other people. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know, it sounds stupid, but I just keep thinking Ellis is going to jump out any minute and do something. That really isn't going to happen. (sighs) No, I know... Like Johnny said, he wouldn't come near this place if he didn't have to. Exactly. I've never been more scared in my entire life. I know. (sighs) What the hell was I doing ever getting involved with him? Now is not the time to think about that. No, it is. I've hurt so many people. Nolitando, you, Lily, my whole family, basically. Yes, but... I don't even know why Alistair Kenton and Johnny have all come today. Well, they're here because they want to be. (sighs) But I don't deserve it. They're here for you. Well, they're crazy, then. No, they're not. And you really have to stop (sighs) worrying about these things. I can't help it. Uh, Freddie, look, I know you won't get the chance to speak up today. No. But that letter that the police have sent the judge, along with your new statement, they're really going to help. Maybe. I just know they will. And Usha's done everything she can, too. Yeah, she's been great. But I think perhaps we ought to go back inside now. Can you just give me one more minute? Of course. Freddy, they've just called your name on the tannoy. Oh, God! It's okay, Freddy. You can do this. Oh, poor Freddy looks so nervous. I know. Can't bear it. <clears throat> It would appear that Mr. Pardeter was brought up in a loving family as part of a stable, close-knit community. He is of previous good character, having recently left college on the successful completion of his A-levels. Indeed, the deputy principal of that college has provided him with an excellent character reference. And I have no doubt the young man before me has the potential to become a valued member of society. However, in spite of all this, I must take into account Mr. Pardita's privileged background, which would suggest that he dealt in drugs simply because he could. He is not someone who needed to do it for financial gain or any other purpose which I am able to discern. It was, in fact, entirely his own choice. Having dealt with a number of such cases previously, 
I have to say that I find this form of drug dealing the most inexcusable, with no purpose other than self-gratification. It is both reckless and uncaring of the consequences for its victims. It is therefore my decision to sentence the defendant to be detained at a young offender's institution for a period of 12 months. No! I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Mum! I'm so sorry! I, I love you, Freddy! <laughs> that was a very odd look from Emma. Oh, I thought so too. You don't think she's guessed, do you? Oh, quite possibly. She wouldn't be the only one, I suspect. No. Cecil Jackson definitely gave me the cold shoulder on the way here. And Bert as good as refused to say anything when I asked about his flowers this morning. Oh, I think we've been sussed, Peggy. <laughs> oh dear. Do you think we'll get into trouble? Why should we? All we've done is talk to people. It's up to them what they choose to tell us. That's true. It's not a crime, is it? Certainly not. And there's no guarantee Jenny's going to win anyway. Though hopefully it will have improved her chances. So long as she doesn't try and compete with Carol's chutneys. And milk. Thank you. But if I'm honest, I've rather enjoyed our little bit of subterfuge. So have I. Frankly, it's been rather a blessing having something else to focus on. Apart from the house and the debt. Yes, I'm sure. Especially now I've been banned from interfering with Adam's running of the farm. Aren't you exaggerating a oh, little? I can assure you I'm not. No, I've been rattling around that house like a spare part, and I hate it. Poor you. I tell you, Peggy, it's even reached the point where I'm actually looking forward to things like this soiree Justin's having next week for the new members of the board. Well, it might be fun. And the harvest supper, for heaven's sake. Just as an excuse to get out of the house. Was it really that bad? Yes, I hate the whole retirement business. If there was anything else I could do to put it off, believe me, I would. Oh, I'm sure you'll find your métier soon enough. Well, if you can tell me what it is, I'd be very grateful. Well, if you do move, perhaps you'll find something new to occupy you there. Oh, I mean, it's not as if we'll be moving to the other end of the earth, though, or even Borsetshire. My life isn't going to change that much. Then why move at all if you don't have to? Oh, no, 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 we're not going back to this. But if it's going to make you both unhappy... Please, Peggy, don't mention giving us your money again. Why not? Because selling the house should bring all our problems to an end. So that's why we're doing it. I can stay as long as you like. I've lost them, haven't I? No, you haven't lost them, Elizabeth. Yes, I have. First Lily. Now Freddy. I'm sure Lily will come round. And you'll be able to visit Freddy. But I don't even know where they've taken him. I'm sure they'll tell you soon. Why did the sentence have to be so harsh? I don't know. He took such a risk telling them about Ellis. I'm sure that owning up was the right thing to do, though. I'm not. The sentence could have been even longer if he hadn't. I should never have made him tell them. You can't blame yourself, Elizabeth. His life's ruined. Just remember what Usha said, though. He should be out in six months. Six months is an eternity. Freddy's too soft, he won't cope. I suspect he's tougher than you think. I've made everything worse, haven't I? And now he's in prison. And it's all my fault. <laughs> 